Yeah. So the guys who are the clean and doing your here's your boat and then beach time. Right. So we do the boat first. The boat brings you back at the beach, you get your beach chairs or umbrellas, and then vamos. I did want to touch a little bit uh, something about, I mentioned when we got on Barbados yesterday. First off, I want to reiterate the quality of, uh, of audio you get from these Hoham microphones that are designed for your cell phone, top shelf. But uh, as I mentioned, uh, the clip on, back, uh, on the back of the second microphone, the one that we put on Janus, it broke off. And I wish I could say I was rough on it, but, but it just, it put it in my pocket, pulled it out, and uh, the clip broke. You can kind of see that that's, so it, message to Hoham, you gotta make these clips a little bit more durable. But uh, the quality of microphone is fantastic. Could not be more happy, very nonplussed about these microphones. Also the gimbal, every day I use this, I'm learning more and more uh, on the record button on the gimbal, and it works with AI to, to work with the phone. Uh, I learned that you can zoom in and zoom out, which is not so much for to, to create a zoom in look, but more to change the composition of your shot, but still very handy. And uh, you, you can watch a lot of other videos about, you know, the different tilts and all the little bells and whistles uh, on this uh, Hohem uh, Steady M6 gimbal. But ultimately, I'm looking for usability and the convenience of it. And it's very, it's very easy to use. Uh, it's light, isn't it, babe? It's very light, non-intrusive. It doesn't take up a lot of... It's not as intrusive as you think it would be. So it's very cool. And as you can see from, from uh, the beginning of the video to this point, uh, the quality uh, of, of the steadiness that you get from the video on the phone using that gimbal is unbelievable. Uh, as I mentioned before, the larger footprint cell phones, not a lot of choices. This go, uh, this whole home gimbal holds up to 400 grams. And even if you have a smaller phone, you might want to choose this gimbal. But uh, today we're going to be in, in Antigua, St. John, and we're going to be swimming with stingrays and uh, I'm looking forward to that. I know right now, I don't even know what island that is. You, don't, you probably can't see it, but we're, we're passing by an island. Doesn't even look uh, like it's inhibited, but very, very cool. And, and what did I say? Inhibited. Inhibited, inhabited. Uh, it's the sunburn talking. Doesn't matter. Inhabited. I don't think it's inhabited. Could be. I am very, very excited about this balcony. It's been, this is like our room balcony and it overlooks where we've been. Very, very cool. So we're gonna go uh, to the gym, work out, get some breakfast, and then we're docking at 10 o'clock. And today, like I said, it is stingrays. So not so much, we're gonna take the gimbal and I'm gonna get some footage of us getting off the ship, but uh, most of the footage in the, little bit, in the next little bit, we're gonna be uh, taking the GoPro out and get some quality, cool footage uh, of swimming with stingrays. So what do you say, you wanna come along? Let's go. I wanted to shoot this here because I wanted to shoot this here because it's extremely windy in here. <clears throat> so I want to see how much the wind is affecting the uh, the gimbal here. So I guess I'll be able to see in post. You can see right now. This area is called a record speech. All these are historical areas. Wow. Right. And one of the signature you still see of the British here. Old telephone boots, British boots. Now we don't use these boots anymore. Everybody has cell phones. So. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody around the world has yeah, a cell phone. Cell phone. Even people living in poverty have yeah, cell phones, cell right? Phone. <laughs> anybody can own a cell phone. Yeah, right. They're gonna have me for the whole day. I'm gonna be a personal driver. Give you a little information, let you know what's happening. So even when we're going up, I'm not just gonna drive and not say anything at all, guys. I'm gonna let you know what's happening on our beautiful island of Antigua. So the capital of Antigua is St. John's. That's the capital, that's the city. That's where we're located. And in the city, very small, as I said before, guys, it's very small, very congested. So sometimes, you will see when we have four or five ships in the city, 
it gets very, very congested with traffic because everything here is one way traffic when you're in the city. So before tourism was our main industry, the main industry here was sugar. Sugar was our main industry on the islands before tourism was our main industry on the islands. Now we don't make sugar anymore. We still grow sugar cane, but for making rum. <laughs> nice. We don't Better. make sugar anymore. <laughs> Alright guys, so we do have a distillery here where we distill our local rum. Our local rum is called Cavalier Rum. And then there's a, there's two different types of rum. Cavalier Rum, which is, we say the hard ball, which is 80 proof. <laughs> that hits a little bit more harder. Uh -huh. And then you have the smoother drinking rum, which we call English Harbor Rum. And that's a little bit more smoother. Mm -hmm. So we we produce two different types of rums here on the islands. Right. You know what we like to say here? You can't drink you can't drink one glass, you gotta drink two. <laughs> one for the left and one for the right. You know, you get balanced. If you drink one glass, you're gonna You'll be, be off, off balance. balance yes, yeah, so you gotta drink two yeah, like to keep that. you balanced as well, right? Mm -hmm. If you do come to Antigua, uh, book an excursion through Gordon, was it Gordon? Gordon Tours. Gordon Tours. With Jerome. Jerome is, he's the best. Any, uh, Tour that we've taken, I think George, uh, Jerome is just above and beyond, and, and uh, this country is quite as this island is quite amazing. And he was born and raised here, and he's very passionate about his home country. He's going to tell you everything you'll ever want to know, and even things you might not want to know about Antigua. Gordon Tours, that's who you book your tour with when you come to Antigua. And uh, what's fascinating is everything, all the food here on Antigua, is organic and it's made here. They don't export anything here. Um, and the food is phenomenal. We had chicken, there was some rice, mashed potatoes, there's some peppers, some sweet potatoes, mm. some carrots. It's just next level stuff. Um, forget on this trip, this might be my favorite excursion ever. ever. Um, and Jerome, Jerome's the man. So if you're looking for a place, forget about if you're going to Antigua, if you're looking for a vacation spot, book it through Gordon Tours mm -hmm. and, and ask for Jerome. Jerome is going to take good care of you and you're going to have a fantastic time. And I don't know what else to say. Is there anything you can add? I'm still eating. That's great. Antigua is awesome. Gordon Tours, Jerome. And tell him Ron and Jan's, Jan sent you. <laughs> He's going to take good care of you. Just to be clear, just so we're clear, like even if you're not planning a trip to Antigua, uh, Jerome and Gordon Tours is worth going to Antigua. No kidding. What did we do today? He picked us up, <laughs> drove us in his own personal vehicle. I think it was his personal vehicle. He drove us to Devil's Bridge. Devil's Bridge, which I don't know why it's called Devil's Bridge. Well, something. He told us that. I, well, I know, but I'm just saying something so beautiful should not be called mm -hmm. Devil's Bridge. Get in the shot. Let's, let's compose this, right? We're only going to be doing this for a minute. <laughs> Meaning? Do you want me to explain why it's Devil's Bridge? Sure. It's heart-wrenching. So, 
The slaves knew as they got older that the slave masters didn't want them anymore. So they were going to kill them. So they were going to kill them. So rather than allowing the slave masters to kill them, they would go down to the sea and throw themselves in the water till they would get beaten up against the sandstone or limestone, limestone, and, and it would kill them. So they committed suicide so that they wouldn't have to meet their inevitable fate of being killed by the slave master. If you want to get to Garden, yes. there's a website, Garden Tours. Just type in Garden Tours Antigua and you'll see the website. Thank you. And then if you want to get directly to me, you have to email me at Jerome, J-E-R-O-M-E, Island Juice, like Island, I-S-L-A-N-D, Island Juice, at gmail.com. Or you call me at 268, which is our area code, 722-5547. And you get directly straight to me, Jerome.